Again. Ah, thank you. Dana Abercrombie of the Coalition. Thank you so much for speaking to me. You know what I really loved about the portrayal of Supergirl? Tell me. Is that we see her in her humanity. And so I was wondering, how does she balance seeing the humanity in others despite seeing the evil in the few that she's encountered and been treated? It's hard for her, right? I think she comes from a very loving place that is Krypton, and she's experienced Krypton for a very long, for more than Superman ever has in, in his story. Um, and you know, in this storyline, the first thing she encounters is, is pain. Um, they put her in a cell and uh, start testing her and um, mistreating her. And she was just trying to find safety, really. And so when the Berries and Batman rescue her, um, she's conflicted. She doesn't understand what's happening. Um, and then they're like, you know, we need you to, to fight Zod. And she's like, what are you talking about? He's my people, right? There's, there's a lot that's going on with her um, that she kind of very, very much needs to understand. And I think the beautiful thing is that before she makes any decisions, she takes a second to observe. And um, she, you know, then she realizes, wow, Zod is, is not, um, is that a spoiler? No, I, we've seen it in the, in the trailer. He's um, not, a, not a, he's doing bad stuff. And um, she understands that that's not, that's not her, that's not her people. Um, and so she decides, you know, she's figuring out, <laughs> try not to spoil, she's figuring out who she's going to help. But I think Supergirl in general, always is trying to figure out there's there's this very big human uh, experience and, and emotions and I say that as an alien as a Kryptonian who who has deep powers under the yellow sun I also say that she has experiences everything 10 times deeper right her feelings her senses her sadness her joy and she has to figure that out you know and I don't know, man. I love her so much. I think she's the best. Does the this, this Supergirl view herself as Earth's victim no. as opposed to its hero? No, I don't think she feels ever, I don't think she ever victimizes herself. Um, no, she's gone through so much, but never. She never victimizes herself. I think she, you know, the cards are dealt and um, she she's figuring it out one step at a time, you know, but she's a very brave and um, loving and kind alien, um, but never a victim. What does this new team up kind of give her that she hasn't gotten previously? I don't know. I don't know what it gives her. I think ultimately she just wants to do right. And, um, and she's just, I think, you know, she's like, yeah, this is, this is wrong. What Zod is doing is wrong, and that's not what I stand for. Um, and that's that's where she's going. That's she, she's she's on a mission, really, also to to um, God. I can't spoil it, but she's on. There's a specific sort of mission um, that she's got in this movie. That's kind of like her heart and soul is is you know she was. I guess it's not a spoiler. She she was sent um, to to protect Cal to protect Superman, and, and that's that's what her heart is saying, and that's her drive. Um, so yeah. <laughs> well, that works, well thank you so much for speaking to me. You thank you for being here. Thank you, it means so much to me, thank you. Yeah.